Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, server context attribute listener demo. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, server context attribute listener introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Uh, now I will show you the code uh, in Eclipse. Uh, to explain server context attribute listener, I have created the project called uh, server context attribute uh, listener demo. Uh, in that project in web.xml, I have configured uh, uh, the servlet name uh, servlet context attribute test servlet uh, for the URL pattern listener test. Okay, and I have configured one listener class. Uh, the class name is uh, my servlet context attribute listener. Uh, first, I will open uh, servlet context attribute uh, test servlet. Uh, so, servlet context attribute uh, test servlet which extends uh, HTTP servlet and it has uh, init method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet and it has uh, do get method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to uh, process the request and uh, it has uh, destroy method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to uh, remove this servlet from the service okay and uh, in do get method what i am doing is i am getting the servlet uh, context and in the servlet context scope I am setting the attribute company name as Wipro and uh, after certain uh, sleep time I am uh, replacing the company name uh, as Infosys uh, in the servlet context and after certain uh, time period I am removing the uh, attribute the company name okay and uh, whenever uh, this attribute is added or replaced or uh, removed uh, the listener will be notified so that listener I have configured in web.xml. The listener name is my servlet context attribute listener. So I am opening that. So my servlet context attribute listener which implements uh, servlet context attribute listener uh, and uh, it override uh, three methods. The first method is uh, attribute added, the second method is uh, attribute removed and the third method is attribute replaced. Okay and uh, this three method uh, receive servlet context attribute event okay uh, so whenever uh, attribute is added in the servlet uh, context uh, attribute added method will be called and it will receive this uh, servlet context attribute event i'm just displaying the name and uh, value of the attribute uh, which is added and uh, if you want to perform uh, uh, any operation based on the attribute uh, added you can uh, do it here okay and uh, suppose uh, uh, from the servlet context any attribute is removed this attribute removed method will be called and it will receive the event servlet context attribute event uh, i am just uh, displaying the attribute name and uh, value uh, which has been uh, removed and uh, based on the attribute remove if you want to perform uh, uh, any additional operation you can do it here and uh, if attribute is uh, replaced this attribute replaced uh, method will be called and uh, it will receive a solid context attribute event uh, i am just displaying uh, what attribute uh, uh, name and uh, value has been uh, changed okay and if particular attribute is uh, replaced if you want to perform uh, some additional operation that you can do it here okay and i will uh, deploy this application in uh, Tomcat. For that, uh, I will build the project. I am placing this uh, var in uh, Tomcat. I am going to start the server. Server has been uh, started. Uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL. I am clicking on enter and it is displaying uh, index.html content. So in index.html uh, there is only one uh, uh, link is there, uh, listener test. When you click uh, uh, the request goes to the server and the URL button is uh, listener test. Okay. So I am clicking this link. Uh, the request goes to the server and uh, now we will see the output uh, here
so first you are seeing uh, attribute is added uh, so that uh, that listener has been uh, notified second attribute is replaced uh, the listener has been notified and uh, attribute is removed uh, the particular listener has been uh, notified so you can see uh, three uh, event has been created and uh, uh, the my serlet contacts attribute listener uh, got the notification okay you can see it here clearly okay so whenever uh, the attribute is added or uh, replaced or removed uh, this listener will be notified and uh, that output uh, you are seeing here okay and uh, this is about uh, serlet uh, contacts attribute uh, listener demo and thanks for watching bye